friend's dad had this pistol and he kept it in a bedroom drawer. Now this was life during peacetime. I don't even know what he had it for. It wasn't even in a holster or any kind of presentation box. It was just lying in this drawer between his underpants and socks. Now he checked the safety catch and he squared up like a man. And then he told me it was loaded and he placed it in my hand. My friend had seen this all before and he sat at the foot of the bed. He knew when his dad was on the rum and coke, it would sometimes turn his head. Now I'd seen a thousand guns on TV, held by cowboys and detectives. But this was real and black and heavy, and much more serious than expected. So I pointed it at the wardrobe and I practiced looking grim. And then I waved it at the curtains and gladly gave it back to him. His wife was absolutely furious when she found out what he'd done. I mean, come on, a grown man and two 12 year olds in a bedroom with a loaded gun. She knew better than he did how teenage minds unfold. How if you hold a loaded gun, it's something you never quite unhold. But my friend and me grew up loaded, with our safeties mostly on. And it's strange to think that the father and the pistol are both gone. And the underpants in the drawer, even the bedroom we stood in. The bullets, and the trigger, and the firing pin. And in this country full of exit wounds and heartaches by the tongue. To this day, that's still the only time I ever held a gun.